church together. This month, we have been learning about God's plans. God has big plans for your life. So boys and girls, I'm going to ask you a big question, and I believe that you know the answer now, so get ready to shout it out. Here we go. Who has plans for you? God has plans for me. Who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's right, boys and girls. God has plans for your life. And they are good ones because he loves you. You know, in the Bible, it talks all over the place about the great plans that God has for our lives. But specifically, in the book of Jeremiah, it says this. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11. Are you ready to try that one with me? We've been doing it for a couple of weeks, so I think you're ready to jump in. Let's get up on our feet because we're going for a walk. Here we go. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11. Great job, boys and girls. Well, today, we are going to learn about a real man who lived a long time ago from the Bible, and his name is Joseph. Everybody say, Joseph. Well, Joseph loved the Lord, and he listened to him, and God had great big plans for his life. But boys and girls, I have to tell you something. There's gonna be some things in our true Bible story today that are not very fun, and in fact, they're not going to feel very fair. And they're even gonna feel really hard. Do you think that God still had plans for Joseph even when things were really hard? Let's check out our true Bible story and see. Ooh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning to Your sad, sad friend Peyton here. I was supposed to go play mini golf outside today, but when I woke up, I saw rain. I am sad because today is not going the way I want it to. Hmm. How can I play mini golf outside today, even though it's raining? I know! I can use an umbrella while I play! I could put on all my rain gear to stay dry while I putt. What if I try to run around and around and around so fast that the rain can't catch me? Hmm. Hello, Peyton. 
Who? Who? Is this rain bothering you? Yes, Ollie. The rain is ruining my plans to play mini golf. It's hard when plans don't go the way you want them to. But there may be a lesson for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. That was so tough. Oh. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. Now, you would think being a handyman would make me pretty handy. <laughs> but I can't get the lid off this jar. Oh, it's really difficult. <sighs> well, actually, doing something difficult is what today's story is about. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a person named Joseph. Joseph trusted God and God had plans for him. Joseph also had a lot of older brothers. See if you can count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow! Ten brothers! Oh, that's a lot. One day, Joseph went to see his brothers who were taking care of the sheep. Uh-oh. Look at the brothers' faces. Are they happy? Oh, no! They were mad and very jealous. They didn't like that Joseph was wearing a special coat that their dad gave him, and they didn't get one. And Joseph was talking and talking about the dreams he had had, and his brothers were tired of listening. So they put Joseph into a hole and took his special coat. Oh, how do you think Joseph felt? That was so hard. But Joseph trusted God's plans for him. Then the brothers sent Joseph far away to the land of Egypt to work. Joseph didn't know if he would ever see his family again. Oh, it was so hard. But Joseph trusted God's plans for him. Joseph was a good worker, and he did the right thing. He was such a good worker that he was given a bigger job. But then something bad happened. Everyone say, oh no. Ready? Oh no. People said Joseph did something bad that he didn't do, and he was put in jail. was so hard. But do you think Joseph still trusted God? Yes! Everyone cheer for Joseph! Yay! Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. Joseph trusted God's plans. 
Even winning was hard to do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Even when it was hard, Joseph trusted God's plans. We can trust God's plans too, no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Instead of being sad about the rain, I'm going to practice hitting the ball. See you next time. Bye! Boys and girls, did you hear that? I can trust God's plans even when they're hard. Sometimes life feels a little bit hard. Have you ever had something happen to you that's felt sad or unfair or hard? Well, just like Joseph in the story we just heard, sometimes there are gonna be things in life that feel hard. But friends, we can trust that even when things are hard, God has good plans for us. We can trust God's plans for our life, even when things are hard. And that makes me happy because I really do trust in God. Boys and girls, I wanna ask you our big question one more time. Who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's right, boys and girls. Will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, I know I can trust you even when it's hard. Thank you for having good plans for my life. I love you, God. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Well, that story we heard today about Joseph, it's not over yet. So make sure you come back next week so we can hear part two of the big plans that God had for Joseph. I'll see you next time, boys and girls. I love you, bye. My God, My God has a plan, has a plan for, me. for me. My God, My God has, a has a plan for me. For me. Yes, He does. Take two steps